In this presentation, we will understand arithmetic operators in details. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is Introduction to Arithmetic Operators and the second topic is Arithmetic Operators. Let's understand the first topic that is Introduction to Arithmetic Operators. First, we will understand what is an operator and what is an operand. Then we will see the list of all the arithmetic operators we have in Python. Let's first understand what is an operator. An operator is a special symbol that performs an operation on operands. So, it is a special symbol that performs some operation. And an operand is a value or a variable to which the operation is applied. For example, let us assume we have 3 plus 4. So, 3 and 4 are the operands and plus is the operator applied on these operands 3 and 4. Plus operator is the addition operator which is used to perform the addition and the operands are 3 and 4. Now, as we know the difference between operator and operand, let's see the list of arithmetic operators we have in Python. So, the list of arithmetic operators are as follows. The first operator is addition and unary plus which is denoted by plus sign. The second operator is subtraction and unary minus which is denoted by minus sign. The third operator in this list is multiplication which is denoted by star. The fourth operator is division which is denoted by backslash. The fifth operator is flow division which is denoted by two backslashes. The sixth operator is modulus which is denoted by this percentage sign. The seventh operator is power operator which is denoted by these two stars. So, these are all the arithmetic operators we need to understand in this presentation. Let's move on to the next topic that is arithmetic operators as we now need to understand the arithmetic operators available to us in Python. The first operator is addition and unary plus. Addition and unary plus are both denoted by the plus sign. Let's first understand what is a unary plus operator. Unary plus operator is an operator which is applied on a single operand. That is why it is called unary plus operator. Unary stands for the single operand and therefore, unary plus operator is always applied on a single operand. On the other hand, binary plus operator or addition operator is applied on two operands. That is why it is called binary addition operator. We can say addition operator or binary addition operator. Now, let's see some examples. The first example is of a unary plus operator. Let's open our command prompt and let's activate the Python interactive shell. And now let's type x equal to minus 10. Let's hit enter and type y equal to plus x. Now what happens if we perform this operation? As we can observe that plus operator is applied on x. This means that plus is a unary plus operator as it is applied on just one operand. What happens if we put plus in front of x? x is pointing to value minus 10. We now have plus in front of it. It will not have any effect because plus and minus will eventually give us minus. So, y will also point to minus 10. If we hit enter and if we type y and hit enter, we will get minus 10 as a result. Plus operator here is a unary plus operator because this operator is applied on a single operand. Also, we need to note this that the parentheses are optional. We can also write plus x directly, but parentheses makes the code more readable. Hence, it is a preferred choice to put parentheses. I hope this concept is clear. Let's now understand how addition operator works. For this, we will take a very simple example. Let's perform 3 plus 4. We know that these are the two operands 3 and 4 and plus is binary addition operator. As this operator is now applied on two operands instead of just one. 
Now, if we hit enter, we will get 7 as a result. We already know the usual addition operation. 3 plus 4 gives us 7. I hope this is clear. Now, let's move on to the second operator, that is subtraction and unary minus, which is denoted by minus sign. Unary minus operator is also applied on a single operand. This is the minus operator applied on a single operand. On the other hand, subtraction operator is the minus operator applied on two operands. For example, let's open our command prompt and let's type x equal to minus 10. Let's hit enter and type y equal to minus x. Let us assume that we want to change the sign of minus 10. We can put minus in front of x as x is pointing to minus 10. Eventually, x will be replaced by minus 10 and minus minus gives us plus. So, eventually the sign of this value will be changed to plus. If we hit enter and type y and again if we hit enter, we will get 10 as a result. Why are we getting 10? Because minus minus will eventually give us plus. This is the usual mathematical operation which we are well familiar with. Now, let's understand how subtraction operator works. For this, let's type 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4 gives us minus 1. So, let's hit enter and see whether we will get minus 1 or not. After hitting enter, we will get minus 1 as a result. Now, as we are done with these two operators, subtraction and unary minus, let's move on to the third operator, that is multiplication. Multiplication operator is denoted by star. Multiplication operator is a binary operator. Also, it is used to multiply the two operands. For example, let's type x equal to 10 and hit enter and type y equal to 20. Again, let's hit enter and type x into y. Let's say we want to multiply these two values. We know that x is pointing to 10 and y is pointing to 20. Eventually, x will be replaced by 10 and y will be replaced by 20. 10 into 20 will give us 200. Therefore, after hitting enter, we will get 200 as a result. We are done with this operation also. Let's move on to the fourth operator, that is division operator, which is denoted by backslash. Division operator is also a binary operator and it is used to perform the division operation between the operands. It is used to divide the first operand by the second operand. For example, again we have x as 10 and y as 20. This time we will perform the division of these two values. We will divide 10 by 20. For this we need to type x divided by y. After hitting enter, we will get 0.5 as a result, which is the expected value. Now, let's switch these values. Let's say that x is 20 this time and y is 10. After hitting enter, let's type x divided by y. This time we want to divide 20 by 10. So, x divided by y will give us 2.0 as a result. But we were expecting 2. We were not expecting 2.0. But this is how division operator works. Division operator always gives floating point value as a result. Like in this case, we were expecting 2, but we are getting 2.0. But sometimes the requirement is to get an integer value. For this, we have a special operator available in Python, which is called the flow division operator. And flow division operator is represented by two backslashes. It is also a binary operator and it performs division, but the result is always an integer value. For example, let's again take x as 20 and y as 10. Now let's type x, double backslashes and y. After hitting enter, we will get 2 as a result. Now let's switch these values. Let's say that x is now 10 and y is 20. After hitting enter, let's type x double backslashes and y. Let's hit enter. We will get 0 as a result. Although we were expecting 0 0.5, but we will get 0 as a result because flow division always gives us an integer value. 
it will truncate 0.5 in this case. Now, after understanding flow division, let's move on to the next operator, that is modulus, which is denoted by percentage sign. It is also a binary operator and it performs division but it returns the remainder as a result. Let's open our command prompt once again and let's type x equal to 15 and y equal to 7. Let's hit enter and type x mod y. What is x mod y? 15 is not completely divisible by 7. We will get 1 as a remainder. Therefore, x mod y will give us 1 as a result. So, this is all about the modulus operator. Let's move on to the next operator, that is power operator, which is denoted by two stars. It is also a binary operator and it calculates the first operand raised to the power second operand. Let's open our command prompt once again and this time let's type x equal to 10 and y equal to 2. Now, let's say that we want to perform 10 to the power 2. For this, we need to type x, 2 stars and y. So, we can say that this is x to the power y. x is 10 and y is 2. 10 to the power 2 gives us 100 as a result. So, after hitting enter, we will get 100 as a result. With this, we are done with all the arithmetic operators and this means that we are done with this lecture as well. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.